Hello, David Brennan with Case IH. I want to talk a little bit today about a split row configuration on a 2000 series planter, that being a 2140 or a 2160, and how we would set that planter up to run with the split rows either enabled or disabled. Let's start first with those split rows disabled, meaning we'd be in a 30 inch row configuration. How do I know that? I can look at my uh, universal terminal screen under run three and I noticed that on my population graph every other row is disabled so that my even rows are the only ones with the white box that are actually going to be measured and planting that seed. The second way I would know that is if I come back over and I look at my work condition and I set that up for planting corn as I roll through, I notice that every other seed sensor has been disabled, meaning it's not going to register that population. So I know that I'm set up for planting corn or 30 inch row spacing. So now let's go back and set this planter up to be able to plant 15 inch rows. So to do that, we need to go into the frame op screen, going to be done in the universal terminal on run one. And you'll see on the configurations with split rows, a split row icon. We'll hit OK. And that'll take us into a control window that will allow us to enable all rows. You'll see all rows enabled, all hit done. That's going to go ahead and create a new work condition for us. That's going to tell the machine that all rows are enabled. All right, so now that we've enabled all of the rows on that planner, including those split rows, we want to confirm that that setup is, is done properly. So to do that, let's go ahead and look at those indicators below the seed bar graph on run three of the universal terminal. And you'll see now that they are all highlighted in white, informing us that each one of those seed sensors is going to provide us that feedback in the cab, indicating that population that's being applied. The second place we want to confirm that that is done is also under the work condition. So let's quickly take a look at that under the three bar and then under the work condition. And we can see by tabbing through that all 31 of those seed rows are now active. And we can scroll to the next one and you can see that all those 31 rows that are active. All right, so the last thing we want to do is change the work condition as well. And I've created a work condition with the proper number of holes of my seed discs already installed in the, in the default rates that I want to run. So I'll go ahead and select that and it will go ahead and make that change for me. So that is split row operation on the Pro 1200 using the Isobus planner solution on a 2000 series planner. For further information, contact your local Case IH dealer or refer to your operator's manual.